Alrighty, I don't have a piece of <clears throat> insert material, so I'm going to use this piece of maple for my block, and uh, this piece of plywood will pretend that it's going to be my insert material, say it's walnut or something like that. Um, it's about 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, so we'll assume that that's the, the thickness of the, of the material we're going to use. So you start, you have this block, uh, it's just a standard square piece of maple. First thing we do is we mark the sides, we'll say one, two, three, and four. Okay, now we have our miter slide here. We're going to take that and we'll set it to, uh, let's just say 30 degrees, that's a nice, a nice number. All right, then we want to bring our, our blade up. This is going to be for our data that we cut. Now we don't want to go all the way through because we need to have some material left to hold everything together, but we can come pretty close. So we'll, we'll stop right about there. That leaves about a quarter inch. We can go a little higher if we want to. Tighten everything down. All right, now we have our miter side set to 30 degrees and our blade set to almost cut through the entire block. Um, we want to line it up so that it's going to be eh, somewhere around the middle. Uh, it's up to, up to you where you actually want it to be. We'll bring a stop down here. Get a clamp out. We'll clamp our stop on right here. Now as we cut, since I have the stop on this side, it's going to try to push that, that block away. So we want to make sure we keep it good and tight against there as we cut. Um, now again, I don't have any actual insert material, so we'll just we'll fake this. I'll drop the blade out from underneath now. And we'll just pretend that I'm actually cutting. So I've got my, my jig set up here. I go ahead and I make a cut all the way through. And so having done that, oh, sorry, rewind. I put the block on side one so that the number one is up. Put it up against the stop there. Make the cut all the way through. And if I need to, I can, I can adjust and, and, uh, or put a, a dado stack on here to make a slightly thicker cut. Uh, I've got a 1 8 inch blade on right now, so we'll pretend this is an eighth inch thick. And so that it'll just fit in there with one cut. So I do that one cut. And so now I have on my block a cut profile. See, it'll look something like, it'll be a straight line down here. Sorry, it'll be a straight line through there, coming up to about there. Uh, that cut will cross to here. Uh, on this side, we'll have the cut coming up like, whoops, sorry, the cut coming up like this. And this will be gone. And on the bottom, you can see it'll come across like this, and this will be gone. So we've got this, this cut that goes most of the way through like this. And so with that, we take our, our insert material, we stick it into that cut. You know, it won't go all the way through because we didn't cut all the way through. We glue it in, let it dry, uh, shave off any excess so that we have a square block again. And then, let's see, we started on side one. Where's side one? Here's side one. So we did side one. We flip it all the way over once everything's dry. And we do that again, exactly the same way. Now you can see that we did, we drew our line on here where the cut was from the first time. This time, it's going at an angle to that. It's going at 90 degrees or, or whatever angle that is. Um, and so this time when we put the, the, the block, the, the insert material in, um, we'll have an X inside the block that we can't see. We know that there's an X in there. So we do that. We glue our, our material in a second time, um, let it dry, shave off the excess. And so we just did side three. Now we go to side two. We do the same thing again. We cut our dado almost all the way through, put in the insert material, let it dry. And then we flip all the way over to side four and do it one last time. Put in our, put on our insert material, let it dry, shave off the excess, and that's it. Then you're done. You've got this, this four-way X inside the block made out of this insert material, whatever you happen to use. Um, and that's really it. You just keep doing that same process. You don't adjust anything on your, on your miter slide or your stop. You just leave it exactly where it is, and you go in order one, three, two, four. Each time doing that dado almost all the way through, gluing your insert material in, 
shaving off the excess, and then repeating the process four times. And that's it.